Well, this is a concern all parents whose children walk to school have. That nightmare that the children may be struck by a vehicle. CBS 4's Nestor Mato tells us how One Valley City is trying to make their streets safe. Some Hardingen parents are worried about their children's safety as they walk to school, but so is the city and the school district. They're now working together to make safe routes to school. Some parents of students in Harlingen say children are walking into danger while trying to make it to and from school. The kids shouldn't be walking on, on the street to get to school. Eight-year-old Ezekiel walks alongside his father to Long Elementary School. Very unsafe. Here I'm about a block away from Long Elementary School. There's a school zone, but no sidewalk. Very trafficy around school zones. CBS 4 News watched as school let out for the day, and we caught students walking dangerously close to vehicles on the street. The only other option, the grass. The people in the cars don't see any kids on the uh, focus on the street. Uh, they get hurt. The city of Harlingen has taken notice. What we did is identified areas within a two mile radius of all our schools in the city of Harlingen that need sidewalks. Harlingen Public Information Officer Melissa Landine says the city and school district are working to add sidewalks and crosswalks to areas that need upgrades or those that don't have any at all. A 2012 study identified several areas, including portions of 13th Street near Harningen High School. City crews recently created three miles of new sidewalks. Safe routes to schools. We want to create safer areas for our community to walk to school, to bike to school. 88 miles of sidewalk will be upgraded, and there is a possibility for 142 more miles to be built or reconstructed. You could. Uh save a lot of lives and, and uh, prevent a lot of accidents. The school district has already set aside a budget to pay for building materials, and they've spent $160,000 on the sidewalk project. The city's public works department then provides the labor. In the studio, Nestor Mato, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. And there's no end to the project. Harlingen City officials say they will continue upgrading for as long as there is funding.